What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. Uh, well, the results are in, and they were quite fierce and instant. Uh, first, the Assassin's Creed trailer immediately got ratioed. It's over 400,000 downvotes to 200,000 uh, likes. And uh, here we have Ubisoft. Uh, their stock plummets 15% after Assassin's Creed Shadows trailer debut, and company failed to meet forecasted sales figures. Uh, Ubisoft stock plummeted 15%. You can see right here, company released its first trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows, and it reported it missed forecast uh, sales figures. Here we go. There's Ubisoft Entertainment. And uh, oh my god, right there, key events, and that look at that drop from the trailer coming out. People seeing that, yes, indeed, they had gone in favor of maybe perhaps the one example of an African man in Japan at that time. Uh, dubious to whether he was actually a samurai, if he was, it was a samurai with a small s, uh, somewhere in the hierarchy, there, you know, sword bearer, retainer. Uh, there's this a semantical argument to be sure, but uh, and you know, as pointed out under the best of circumstances, I think uh, Isuke would have been a very fine character, uh, you know, 10 15 years ago, perhaps, but it's not the very best of circumstances. And in these days, and especially when this decision was made, uh, right around the time of uh, the summer of love and George Floyd's uh, death, yeah, yeah, this was not done <clears throat> because they really thought it would be the best character to tell this story and uh the audacity also of them to uh try to be like ah you japanese you got enough representation it's time for the american black people to get their representation in your japanese samurai game and anyone that doesn't like it racist well that was immediately <laughs> immediately met with like i said that down votes on the trailer and stock price drops on top of the predatory pricing scheme we've seen but stock price dropped in the wake of ubisoft predicting the company will only bring in net bookings of 299 million for the first quarter the company shared its outlook net bookings for the first quarter of 2025 are expected to come in it is about 299 uh, million bloomberg's daniel uh Zuchik uh, claims this is significantly down from what a number of analysts were predicting. That compares with an average estimate of 376 million among analysts. Uh, while Ubisoft predicted first quarter bookings would come lower than expected, the company did try to be optimistic about its future outlook with Assassin's Creed Shadows and Star Wars Outlaws. The company reported... <clears throat> The company is introducing its financial targets for 2024, 2025, and expects solid net book. Yeah, if you are thinking that was a lot of financial way to think that they're going to make money on Star Wars Outlaws, which itself got ratioed to high hell, I don't think so. Uh, what well, Ubisoft is touting Assassin's Creed Shadows and Star Wars Outlaws as two of the industry's most anticipated games for memeing, uh, anticipated games for the year. Both games are facing significant pushback from gamers. The Star Wars Outlaws trailer has only 2.4 million views. It also has over 179,000 dislikes and just 40 likes. Wow, yeah, uh, the Assassin's Creed uh, Shadows trailer has 5.9 million views, but over 444,000 dislikes and only 240 likes. Yeah, uh, and unfortunately, their response to this has been abysmal the the attacking of the fans i mean what fuck surprise they did something horrible when the fans called them out they got called racist and bigoted and now japanese people are being gaslit and called racist and ho and and not homophobes not yet but uh, sexist of course uh it, it, the in the biggest offense of the entire sas creed thing is the try and the reframing of the narrative that somehow people are upset that it's not a white male protagonist and um, it's it's infuriating it is and points to everyone saying what do you expect yes everyone that made the original assassin's creed is gone this is ubisoft no one should be buying AAA games anyway right now we got that grums uh AAA moratorium on buying games so it, the 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 most expensive which for everything is 130 bucks or a 17.99 subscription and remember they're the ones that said get used to not owning your game so you're right i will get used to not owning your games and even though i have played and 100 percented every single assassin's creed game up until this point i can't 
I can't do it any longer. I can't go along with it. Especially when you see what these writers are saying, man, they're not even the same. They don't, I don't trust them to be the guardians and the shepherds of that lore. So I guess we're back to legal fanfic and maybe someday someone who knows what they're doing uh, can, can come back and Alex Darby or something can come back uh, and start writing again. Otherwise, I don't know. Let me know what you think of this. Make sure to like, share, and sub. If you've done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And well, bye.